We'll set up here. Put the beacons in the center of that shrubbery there and hide until nightfall. Got it. If anything goes wrong, we meet back here. You understand? All right. You know, if this goes to plan, we're not going to be allies for much longer. You saying you're going to run off after this? I'm saying, if I'm the one left alive, I'm not going to be celebrating my victory. Good afternoon, Mozzie. You said you had news for me. I did, madam. It's concerning the scavengers. Walk with me. The scavenger champion has a twin sister. It appears that she has chromium mortis, madam. A heart disease. And this concerns us because... Well, madam, you know that the scavenger and the stoneborn are working together. If they don't cooperate in the end, we can use it as some kind of leverage. Oh, Muzzy, I do enjoy the way your brain works sometimes, but I have to ask. What makes you think they'll make it that far? There's something about it I can't quite figure out. They trust each other. They give each other hope. something to eat. Where'd you get that? It was near some kind of old building site. That Victory City horse said we'd find supplies scattered about. Did you run into anyone else? No. Completely quiet. I guess the other champions are hiding during the day. You were right. The beacons draw them like moths to a flame. Well, that's what we're counting on. We said, when it's just us, that we... But... I don't think I can. And why not? Because I... I don't know, okay? It's probably stupid of me to place trust in you, but... I thought you said you didn't trust me. I just admitted that I didn't want to kill you. Why do you sound annoyed? Because if you're not willing to kill me, how do I know you're going to be able to kill the rest of them? I did last night, remember? You wanted me to show I was capable, and I did. So you're telling me that if you were face to face with a pretty mare, sword ready to cut her down, and she begged for her life, you wouldn't hesitate? I don't know where you pulled up the courage to be able to kill the champion last night, but you better keep it at the forefront of your mind at all times, boy. Don't let yourself waver for anyone. Not even me. 
my father volunteered last year. He told me. He told me that I might have to kill in order to survive. That's what I'm gonna do. Good. And I'm not pretty Maris, that's it. I'm not interested in that. Better not be interested at all until you get out alive. You're sure this is gonna work? No matter how many times you ask me that, Gino, this is still my first time setting a beacon trap up. Sorry, I'm just... I want this to work. That makes two of us. But listen, I've got faith in you, boy. You're gonna see the sunrise. <laughs> still not that young. Looks like the game's on. How is Von Horst managed to kill so many other champions? <laughs> Have you got a brain in there? This is obviously a distraction. Be on your guard. Not yet. This place is deserted. Come on, we don't want to be wandering around this place when night comes. I guess. But still, this doesn't feel right. You're so paranoid, you know that. Between your sword and my spear, nothing is going to sneak up on us. Welcome to the tournament. You're hurt. I'll be okay, kid. I just need a minute. We need to find some bandages. You're gonna- I'm going to be fine, alright? These fuckers will have to do a lot worse to bring me down. At least rest for a while, okay? Not for too long. I imagine more champions are on their way. We have to be ready for them. Don't be ridiculous. You're not fighting anyone else, got it? No. We're gonna get out of here, find somewhere to lay low and try again another day. But what about the plan? We've worked too hard to give it up now. It's not worth you getting killed. Come on. I'll take you to that building site. All right.
I understand you're stressed right now, but please, we're doing all we can to You're keep doing all you can? Well, it's not enough, Lian. We're going to die out here if you don't find food if for us If you just let soon. me finish what I was- I've heard enough. Don't try and make up excuses for your selfish behavior. What's going on here? Apparently nothing according to him. <sighs> I just can't get through to her. All this shit with Gino being in the tournament. I'm worried she's gonna have another attack. We're all worried for her, Leon. Just let her work it out herself, alright? You're certain we're completely out? I had Aspen go scavenging this morning, but yeah, we have nothing. He hasn't returned yet? I uh, guess not. It's almost midday. He should have been back by now. Maybe he went further than usual? Maybe. Keep an eye out for him, all right? If he's not back by evening, then come and find me. We should really cover that up. You can't afford to lose that leg. You think this tiny scratch is gonna make me a cripple? You wound me, Gino. I'm not that weak. Contrary to what your ego might tell you, you're not immortal either. What, you going to miss me when I drop dead from this flea bite? You already know the answer to that. You should eat. I'm gonna see if I can find any medical care around. Absolutely not. And you're gonna stop me? I won't let you go alone. Since when were you so protective? You didn't have a problem with me looking for food yesterday. I'm a scavenger, Oliver. I know what I'm doing. Stay here. That's fine. Oliver! Oliver, you okay? Oliver? I wouldn't worry too much about him. I would be more concerned with what's going to happen to you in the next 30 seconds. Where is he? Like I said, don't worry, I took care of your little friend. That was just you and me, scavenger. Wait, I know you. You're a bloodhorn, aren't you? It's almost poetic, isn't it? A bloodhorn and scavenger, mortal enemies in the wastelands, meeting once again in the tournament. But there can be only one, and I'm afraid, scavenger, it's not gonna be you. I must say he was 
was rather tasteless compared to you. But at least he just accepted his fate. What did you do to Oliver? Why do you feel the need to fight back so much? If we need to take lives to survive, we will do it. <laughs> oh, how noble of you. Tell me, where the fuck is Oliver? <coughs> you're... you're too late. Too late. Already gone. <laughs> you're too late. <laughs> Oliver! Gino? Yeah, I'm here. It's okay. Shit, I'm sorry, Oliver. I should have stayed. It's alright. That fucker jumped me as soon as you'd left. He must have been following us for a while. Can you walk? I... I can try. Ugh. Oh. Man, I feel like shit. We're gonna find you help, alright? Help? Where the hell do you think we're gonna find help out here? We'll win the tournament. And then, when Victory City comes to collect us, they can help you. Gino, please be sensible for one damn minute. Victory City would sooner kill me than save my life. You're better off leaving me here. No way. We stick together and you said it yourself. Well, I didn't exactly envision being ambushed by a cannibal when I said that, alright? Oliver, I can't. I can't do what you're asking of me, okay? I can't leave you behind. So don't even think for a second that I'm going to. Alright. You want to get me some help from our good friends in Victory City? Then we better win this thing. That's easier said than done, Oliver. Not only have we used all our beacons, but you saw yourself that there are other champions teaming up. Well, if you've got a plan, then I'm all ears. Maybe. I was looking for food. Leon said we were low on supplies. I thought you knew. This is Bloodhorn territory. You're going to get yourself killed going out this far alone. There's a reason why we scavenged in pairs, Aspen. Well, in case you haven't noticed, Gino isn't here anymore. Fuletti can't go on her own, and you always say we need at least three people in the camp at all times. What was I supposed to do? Wait for us all to starve? You were supposed to wait until I got back from patrol, no matter what Leon says. I found enough food to last until Gino gets back. See? Aspen, he might not... Look, this is still Bloodhorn terrain. Let's get back to camp with this quickly before they spot us. I just... 
I want to do better for us. Without Gino, we need someone who's willing to do his job. I want to be that someone. You're not Gino. I don't want any more heroics like this one, got it? I need you to keep a level head. Think rationally before going out on a whim. Don't get me wrong. I want something better for us too. That's what Gino and Floody's father wanted when he set out to make this clan. Your eagerness can be put to better things, Aspen. from your territory, ain't ya? What you got in that bag, you brat? We're leaving now. No need for conflict. My friend here found this stuff fair and square. <laughs> fair and square? We don't give two shits about fair and square, rat. You're on our land. That's ours. We're willing to give you half. You're willing? You hear that? He's willing to give us half. What a lucky day this is. Nah, I don't think so, Rat. We're gonna take all of our stuff. We will die without this. And we will have a fucking feast on your flesh when that happens. You give us our shit right now, or we might just have an appetizer.
Where's Aspen? Where is he? I, I couldn't. I wasn't fast enough, Floody. First of March, it's clear to me There's something that's uncomforting Your body is away with me But I'm exactly where I wanna be But I'm a long way from home This is something I cannot replace Give me hope and give me doubt Well, I loved you then, but I don't love you now I'm a long way from home So we're a long way from home You're a part of me